In this problem, we're going to find something called the root mean square, which is often abbreviated by RMS. And this is called the quadratic mean as well. So this is also called the quadratic mean. And this is used a lot in physical applications. Let's go ahead and work through it. So solution. So the RMS is given by the following formula. It's basically the square root of, and you basically take all of your data and you square it and you add it up. Then you just divide by the total number of data. So pretty simple. So this is equal to, let's see, we have three squared. That's the first data point. Then we have to add, so five squared plus six squared plus six squared plus seven squared plus 10 squared plus 12 squared. It's all being divided by n. So n is how many numbers we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. So we have a seven here on the bottom. And then we take the square root of all that. Wow, lots of numbers here. Let's see what we get. So we have three squared plus five squared plus six squared plus six squared plus seven squared plus 10 squared plus 12 squared. So my calculator says 399. Wow, it's a big number. This is the square root of 399 divided by seven. And if you divide that by seven, you get 57. So we get the square root of 57. And let's see what that is. Square root of 57 is 7.55 or so. So roughly 7.55. And that would be the root mean square or RMS or the quadratic mean. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.